Okay, so. You were talking about the fact that you started off uh, as a traditional grip player, right? And uh, and that singles are more comfortable comfortable for you in traditional in the left, uh, as opposed to matched. And, and however you feel as though playing rebounds and matched is easy, easier than rebounds in tradition, right? And then you said, and, and maybe making a, a backbeat for like a, a backbeat too. Uh, and you proceeded to make a really nice traditional backbeat and said, but it's not, and I, I was like, so go ahead and do that. Okay, but you're not quite at the floor. Not quite. Yeah. You have to decide. If that's the floor, that's where you exactly where you have to come back to. Go ahead. Go on up again. You're dipping the beat as you go up. It has to stay in the exact same place. It's not bad, though, you see. Hey, I love to back beats on traditional. Give me a break here. <laughs> Go ahead and do that in the right. Yeah. Now I'm set up for, for I'm not set up for traditional, right? But Dick would Dick would say Dick would say that. Dick would say, notice the, the elbow, the elbow, the elbow, the elbow comes out a little more in the left. <laughs> Very subtle, more. Because it's the right hand, it's the right hand on the side. Right? Okay, so. And at some point, maybe we'll we'll experiment with that because it's very comfortable for you in a lot of ways. And maybe the left in traditional could teach your right mm -hmm. in maps. And vice versa. <clears throat> now, bunch of stuff. Let's see. Let's take a look. So we were working on the uh, <clears throat> on the single drag, right? So just an observation, because you know I like to do my observations at the beginning, because you know you, a lot, you commented a lot on my elbow and stuff, and I paid a lot of attention during my last two weeks on that, and I just feel just like the throw improved massively in terms of like my relaxation. So instead of doing this, actually allowing the elbow to extend to do the throw, just made me so much more relaxed and to try to do this. Actually, allowing the elbow to extend, be way more relaxed. Just an observation. That's all. And that's what we were talking about because going up with your elbows pinned to your side has all kinds of adverse effects. If you pin your elbow to your side and you and you go up, it's just more tense, right? Well, if, if you try to if you try to go up and leave the bead down with your elbow by your side, what happens to the bead? Try it. Prove prove this stuff to yourself. Just don't take my word for it. You know? Well, it reaches a point you can't extend anymore, right? This is the edge issue, right? Can't go upper than there. You see what happens is pin this to your side. And, and and you go up. What what typically happens is the speed will get drawn towards you. This would get tight. This wrist area becomes constricted, and you've moved the bead away from that fixed point in the universe. Thank you, Richard Martinez. Right? It's here. And we want to go around this fixed point in the universe. And we want to leave the bead in the center. We don't want to pull it towards us. 
So we leave the whole system alone. We leave with the wrist. Cock the wrist and come back to the floor. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, here's something that helped uh, uh, another student of mine recently, and, and that is this idea of, see when we're turning, we're, we're, we're moving through what is the path of least resistance. Thank you, Richard Martinez, right? And so, that might have something to do with why your left still feels somewhat less comfortable than the right in matched playing singles. We'll figure that out. But so we're traveling, we're traveling along this path. It would say the axis of rotation is perpendicular to the orbital plane. It's, it's, now we're getting into some kind of metaphor like idea but if, if you were to just want to draw a line on an easel right you, you, a straight line up you would now i know the easel would have to be at an angle like right the easel would have to be at an angle but what we're, what we're talking about yeah and so when we go to make a throw the same thing is true that's that's keep doing it Okay, right, and we don't want to use our arm, we're just turning the wrist, right? Now when we go to make our throw, we're gonna, we're gonna go up, and now go ahead and make a throw. It, it really just travel along there, wouldn't it? Ah, uh, better, uh, see? Ah, uh, came away at the top, coming away. Go slower, take your time, do it in slow motion. Run the, no, no, no. Show me a wrist, see? We've, we're gonna improve it again. No, just show me a regular wrist turn traveling along the path of the stick you have in your left hand. Nice and slow. Don't, you know, why are you going down faster than you're going up? I thought we came up and down at the same speed, essentially. No, don't make a no. Make the motion. There, come down at this, no, you're coming down faster than you're going up. It's fascinating, isn't it? Now come up a little higher, turn higher, don't use your arm. But you might have to pull the stick towards you so the stick will still align with it. Right? The butt end of the stick you have in your left hand has to come towards your face. So towards your face, so it's at an angle. An angle. Okay. <clears throat> now just there, that's what I mean. Now make, make a motion using that speed of a wrist turn on the way down. One up. No, no, no. Go on up now. See? We'll have you thinking about it different already. So come back to your floor. Okay, now make the motion up. Nice and easy. It's going to be in. No, I'm sorry. And now we're making a throw. Oh, okay. That kind of up. Okay, easy. Now make a slip. Make the same wrist turn you just made as your arm falls. There, and you still rushed it. Do it real slow. Why are you coming down faster? Why? Yeah, you want to rush that. Yeah, that's the, you get behind it. You don't rush it. Yeah, if you, yeah, you feel all that power. That's the torque. You feel the torque. It's helping you feel the, come on, not there. Feel the torque. Oh, you don't have to rush it. Just feel the torque. If you want to feel, if you want, if you want to feel the motion more quickly, that means the whole thing would increase in speed, right? So if if we're going to move, see, that's a downstroke. See, look, see, I'm, I'm not rushing it. I'm just doing this after I do this along that plane that I just described, right? Yeah, you don't you don't try to make a note. That's a mistake. Okay, now you're feeling torque. And you don't have to rush to feel it. That'll give you a nice, nice. Murray would say, there's your blow. Right now, take the other stick away and, and just make a motion. Don't dip the bead, but be very precise. 
you raised, you came to the ceiling higher. Now you're coming up to, you changed it. Remember the stick you're following. No, there's a stick. You only came up like this much. You, you did something like this. Oh, you came up less. You were in here somewhere following the stick. Now you're coming up to your face. Oh, you don't want that. No, I want you to copy what you did when you did it in slow motion here. You did something like this. Came up to about here. Now you're coming up to here. There. 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 Now you want you want a louder blow, come up higher. But don't change this, don't just you have to come up higher and then you can cock higher, and, but you don't rush it. You still feel the torque. But don't rush Okay. Did I feel the torque? You get, you get more power not rushing. You get more power from making the motion than you do going. Ah, oh, so relax, isn't it? Good. That traditional group would think of that. <laughs> Let's try it. Okay, and we could do this too, can't we? We can do because okay, you have. You have something like this happening. I don't know if I've ever done it traditionally. And and I'm not now my pad is an angle, so I'm, I'm not parallel to the surface. But we can imagine that if I was set up traditional, the pad would be a, more of an angle. And and so right. And so we we have this. Now it's a rotation. It, like this, I guess. Now we have this kind of rotation. Well, you're not really staying with me. I'm doing this and I'm rotating. Right? We have that kind of thing happening. And then if we're going to make a throw, we'd have that. Rush it. You get a nice, relaxed, clean, bottom speed attack. Hey, you're rushing fast on the way down. That's your thing. You just don't want to make the beautiful, remember? It's just the Malaysian dancer. See, you don't rush, the Malaysian dancer doesn't go. <laughs> Think about that. It's just this. Right? Isn't that the... The stadium wave. Everyone's wave. Okay. I need to look at this. I need to look at this. It's just gotten better again. It really has. Okay. So let's let's <clears throat> let's hit the single drag and keep moving, right? So 72 is where I think I had you, <laughs> correct? Slow the metronome down to 60. Okay, 
So you've advocated one of the things I asked for you to consider. And that is we are leaving the B down for the upstroke. We're playing one of those classic, honest to goodness, Murray Spivak single strokes, which is an up, an up to a down. In this case, we have two notes. Ba-da, ba, ba-da, ba, ba-da, 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 ba, ba-da, ba, ba-da, ba, 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 ba. It's pretty slow. You wouldn't even have to necessarily go up right away, but you can. Really be conscious of your floor. So you're still coming up a little bit. Notice. Much better. Maybe you're a little low. You're too close to the surface. Decide on where your floor is. That's where you're going to stop, and then you're going to turn down from there. Yeah, right was good. Yeah, left was good. You know, I suggest that you work on this with no metronome, just like that. Just taking your time. Okay. Now, now I want you to do that and consider the other aspect. Uh, 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 what we just worked on in terms of the throw. You forgot the other part now. <laughs> now you're now. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Right? And you've got that torque we're looking for. It has to do with the axis of rotation being per perpendicular to the orbital plane. OK, so now 72 back on the metronome. Let's take a look at the uh, third iteration. The metronome is a dotted. But not you lost the uh, secret sauce. What happened to the secret ingredient? Okay, stop. You were doing it at first, a little slower. Okay, now go ahead and slow the metronome down to 60. It, where is the metronome now? Did you already move it to 60? Are you at 60 now? No, I am. I was not. I was at 72. See if you can play this one in time with the metronome. think of the elbow. You have to think of the coming uh, from parallel for your up. And think of the axis of rotation. Torque. Going around a fixed point in the universe. Right? So what does that look like? When, what are my throws? What are the speed of my throws look like? You know, I know. Let me, let me double check. Ah, 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 
Just do this. Just do this. Up, down, up, down, up, down, down. They're similar in speed, aren't they? Notice? Notice? Now watch. Look, they're similar in speed. I'm making a little throw before I go up. Right? But it's still this. This isn't it. Watch. Do this. Do this. Up, down, up, down. Up, down, 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 up, down. Now the motion is going up and down. So is this. Ah, I'm better torque. Okay, so. Good. Now, now, now go ahead and play the stroke. Keep the double, meaning the upstroke, starting from parallel. Is it? Watch the elbow. Remember how it comes up? It comes up like this. There you go. Up, up, good, good, good. That can be a little turn, and then it's a, a bend from parallel for the up. There you go. There you go. Come on, leave the arm alone. Don't go throwing it out, it just follows. Okay, now go ahead and play the stroke. Sometimes you see, I don't feel like you are really leveraging up. Are you really making a motion? How would we do it? Are you really making really making a motion here? I think so. I mean, I feel I feel the torque. Oh, no, wait. I'm just I'm just what what wait watch. Let's see how to do that. You see how see how this moves smoothly? Again, it's smooth. There you go. Now your elbow's coming out. There. That's what you're not feeling. There. It sets it up. Why can't you do that with a little double on the way up? There. See now you're feels like you're making motion. Making this very specific motion that, that you're learning. Good, 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 good. Okay, put it up to 72. Let's take a look there. Just relax. No, nothing going on. Listen to yourself. It's not, it should be dot ba ba dot dot da ba dot dot ba ba dot dot ba ba dot your top speed right now right you need to just settle down and work on really being tough on yourself this is why a mirror is, is really good Absolutely. all right and, and so here's what happens you start to get these things in isolation like you can make a throw now especially as you're thinking about this right you really are able to make a throw you know and you're able to to play from parallel play an up for two notes okay you can do that it's just as it's 
right. You can, yeah, you can do that. And a really good way to get it isn't just, I don't want you, I don't want you mimicking it. I want you to see, notice it. It's the kind of thing that if you didn't notice it to someone who was doing it, they wouldn't know they were doing it. You know, so approach it that way. Put this, putting this stick here, I got on my leg, right? And just having fun. You can do this sitting in front of the TV. Now, some people think that's blasphemous. This is muscle memory. This is muscle memory now, man. You want to watch the love boat and do this? That's okay with me. Right? So you see, if you if you really leave the bead down and you come up and 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 follow this the vector of sorts, you, you're following this track. There. See, it'll come out just what it needs. See, see, when you did it without that stick, now you're letting it rub against your hand. That's another way to do it too. Let's see. Yeah, you can do it that way too. I had mine on the stick. Do it both ways. Put yours a little further forward. You, you, right. Come on, get down parallel at the floor. No, you've got to start at the floor. Now go on up. Don't dip the bead. There. Get down now. See, that's, it has to be right. You're moving along this very particular path. That's what we're looking for. See, we're looking for you to not be changing the angle of the butt end, leading with your elbow. See, if you lead with your elbow, watch what happens. Like, like this, it goes away from the stick. It might not go away, but it, it's, now you're not traveling straight up and down. Now you're traveling this way. And that's another way of applying. It's, I guess you could do it like this, so it, it still stayed in a position, right? That's, see, that's not what we're doing. We're going straight up. It's way more efficient. And the elbow will move, and it'll look a little like molar, but it's not molar at all. I like this order, yeah. Molar at all. It's yeah. leading to the wrist and following this path, and the arm will react as it, as it would a normal human body on this sometimes normal planet. OK, so. Good, now let's take a look at the last iteration. Back down, put it down to 60. Again, this has a different rhythm. You've got to get the rhythm correct. Now don't bring the beat up for the upstroke. Think about what you just learned. Think about this. Find this axis of rotation. Your name. Just do this. Just do this. Just do this. Just nice and relax. Come on up. Come, come up for me. And now make it smaller. Come on, you still have to make a motion. What happened to all this stuff? Come on. Look, and if I do a tiny throw, look. Look, I still see my watch. I have to go around a little fixed. Look, I'm going around a little fixed point. Something's happening here. It doesn't stay like this. Right? So we're just making little throws. It does this to this, this to this, this to this, this to this. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, now go and play the stroke. That's all that's happening, isn't it? That's it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. 
Say, don't, 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 don't suddenly start to change this. It's just this. Nice relax throws again. So as your speed comes up, your things start to get a little panicky. Just, just show me the throws again. How nice and relaxed it is. Don't rush it. Nice and just make a gentle motion. It'll, it'll give you a nice kazam on the kabam on the surface. There you go. That's it. It just should it, that shouldn't go away. Go back to throwing. Go back to throwing. Your throws change when you go to play the stroke. So you're not, don't bring the beat up too much. We had little throws. What happened to our little? You're, you're there. No, 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 no. Just what you're doing. A little bigger. A little bigger. No, too much. Too much. Right there. Too much in the left. No, too much. You're throwing the beat behind you. There you go. Just somewhere in there. Nice, little, nice, easy throw. Feel that. Notice how high your sticks are coming up. The tips come up to somewhere. Just a little bit above your. Uh, Sleep on. Okay, now go and play the stroke and don't change that. You see, it can be just there. Let's relax now. That's all it is. Go back to playing the throws. Throws. There, there, there. Now go ahead and play the stroke and don't change that. See how relaxed it is? There you go. See the whole idea. Good, Raph. Raph. There. See the whole idea. <clears throat> With this technique, this whole idea of emotions, and Mary would say it makes the whole thing much simpler to understand. Well, it makes it much easier to feel as well. You see, we're just making these motions. That's all we're doing, right? Ah, uh, it, it could be ah, uh, it could be ah 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 ah, or it could be ah 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 ah. It's in chain. Let's see. Ah, five stroke roll. It's shin shin. It's hard to see. See, it's just this. Yeah. That's all it is. See? See how simple that is? Just I just, because, just because just because you're playing what three notes in between each accent you're playing these nice relaxed accent then you go to play the three notes and it goes ah, 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 ah. no you have to watch me check it out right you've got this nice thing that this and as soon as you go to play something in between the motions the motions change you shouldn't that 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 shouldn't go that 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 Rata, no, it's just da, rata. No, this doesn't change. Go ahead. What were you going to say? It's hard for me. It's just harder to feel the torque if the throw is smaller. When the throw is bigger, it's easier to feel the thor the torque. For me. Not for me. Okay. Yeah, this is the problem also. I still, I still feel. I can imagine why it might be easier be because maybe it's not totally part of you yet. Oh, exactly. <laughs> exactly, right? It, it, this is what I'm saying. I just need to practice basically small things, I guess. Good. And, and practice somehow. Like this. Just fiddle with this. If nothing changes. Here's your torque right there. Here's your torque. That's energy running circularly. Force traveling outward in a circuit based on a circular motion. I believe torque is. So it should still be there. You're rushing the up to there you go. There. You gotta lift that thing up as it as the rest of the assembly moves in the opposite direction. Okay. Yeah. And but what you just did when you played the stroke, you, you became Relaxed. That's what we're looking for. Okay, now let's go to the double drag. <laughs> 
<clears throat> see what we can accomplish here. Okay, so again, metronome on what we put it at 72. And we made the metronome a quarter note. <clears throat> that means that means for every two eighth notes, there's one click, right? If we made it a dotted quarter, it'd be too fast for you. We could just sit down and make it a dotted quarter. Uh, but I like the idea of challenging it this way. going to have to slow it down. However, maybe I still do need to slow it down. Just show me the throws at that speed. No, 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 no. They better, better count it. One, two, three. 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 Don't try to slam that stick down into the surface. You try to feel the torque as you turn towards the ceiling. You're always. Okay, now go and play the stroke and don't change that. Change that. Ah, uh, can you keep it going? No. Uh, Yeah, but the throw doesn't change. Ah, da, ah, ah. Okay, you got it. Ra, ra. Ah, can't you keep the motion? Start with the motion. Maybe this is our new approach. There we go. Da, ra, ra. Oh, motion changed a little, didn't it? There, it's back. There you go. Good, man. Okay. That's a clever way of, of helping you feel this. Okay, so I'm going to have you do that. That's part of what you're missing. A little bit of hysteria creeps in as the speed comes up. And, okay, and I get it, believe me, because the mind starts going, yee. Right? Okay, now what we're going to do is, let's see, let's play. So this one could be a dotted, dotted quarter. See how relaxed that is? And I can do this too. Watch. I think I think I can do it. See, I can do it. See? You try. Go ahead and play this stroke. Metronome is now a dotted quarter. Take your time. Maybe you want to play it without the metronome. Right. Which variation is the second one, right? One in three eight. 
a second variation. And uh, it has a pickup, a 16th note, two 16th note pickups. The, uh, the 16th notes are no longer an appoggiatura. They're actually played as 16th notes. So go ahead and sing that rhythm to me. I need you, I need, okay. I need you to count out loud. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now the sixteenth notes would be played. One, two, and three. One, two, three. No. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. No. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. One, two, three. One, two, three. There's little, there's little dots, so that might mean we might just turn a little bit higher. Oh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. What, let's see. Am I playing it wrong? I might be playing it wrong. Come on, let's see. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's see. Maybe I'm playing it wrong. Hold on. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, my bad. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, 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 one, two, so those writes with the dot on the top, is that an accent or not? No, no, I, I would, I'm playing them. Um, one, two, three, two, three, watch, just a little turn. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, the little doubles. I'm playing, I'm playing from the floor. parallel yeah, but I'm playing the doubles from parallel from parallel and and the little dots I'm making little wrist turns for that's it I'll go the other way no the other way is from the floor we'll go the other way okay there I'll go the other way and the left makes little taps. Now the right's going to make little wrist turns, and everything else is from the floor. So the throw. There you got it. There you go. So now if we're going to make throws, da da ba da da ba da 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 ba da da ba da da ba ba. Check it out. Da 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 da. Ra da 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 da. Da 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 da. That's all it is. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Ba 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 ba. One two three one. One two three one three one three. One two three one three one two three one three. One three one two three. Wait 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 wait. Here, I like what you're doing. You're you're thinking. So it's. One two three. 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 On the one. I think you were playing it on the three. No. One two three. One two three. One three. One two 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 three. 
Uh, the other stuff. There you go. Right? See, that's really calmed you down. Yeah, this it's, one. Be, um, it's much slower than you actually think, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. So, for, for this one, so far we've been at, we're at 72 on the first one. It's a quarter now. Uh, 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 uh. You played at that speed? Yeah, I think so. 72. 72 is there, you, what do you say? 72. No, 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 they're not a Pagetaurus. There's no... So the first one, that's what, that's what you said, right? There's no tie on, on the double drag either, but maybe there should be. But, but, but what we're not playing these is as grace notes or a Pagetaurus. They're actual 16th notes. So instead of ra da da ra 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 da ra ra da, it's da ba ba da 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 ba da da ba da. Okay, but the throw isn't this. A throw is this. No, oh, you're slamming, you're killing it. Just play, just play, just play the throws, making a motion. But if, so they're, the, not, if they're not depositories, if they're not depositories, how can I just do it from the from parallel? It's always going to sound low volume, right? I suppose. And it is. That's how we're that's how we're playing it. For now, we can play it other ways. I know. Okay. But it, you're right. It's going to be, be pianissimo. Where do we play pianissimo? Oh, from about parallel. Yeah, but you're not counting. You're not playing the rhythm quite right. Da da ba da 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 ba. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. So it's a little hard for you to open up your doubles. It's playing, playing from here. It's just this. What? It can be open. It doesn't have to go. And, and, okay. Okay. And how you how would one do that by focusing on the fulcrum? So that you have have a fulcrum for the stick to rock over, so that you can start to learn how to control the rebounds, right? Right. You're able to play the the rebounds faster as a pagetaurus. Why can't you slow them down and still play them pianissimo? Right. Okay. Go ahead and play it again. In fact, slow it down to sixty. around that of you did it. Ah, go. Nice and relaxed. I want to see I don't want to see any of this. This. Okay. Now 
now let's take a look at so you're at 60 there i'll have you do that 60 to 72. good see if you're starting to relax a little bit now oh, it's so hard Okay. Yeah, 60 to 72. I can get out my little violin for you. I've done already a lot of that in the, throughout what, these two, three years. So it's, we're all right, Kevin. <laughs> Here we go now. Now we're getting into the next one. How are we going to play this? Let's see. How can I make this extra difficult for you? <clears throat> we don't want to make this too easy. Now I'll get out the big violin. Try this. Let's see. One. So, just a part of the whole play tradition. Ah, 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 Okay. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three, Maintain staying relaxed. Though. Right? Okay, so we're now we're playing this thing in five to a quarter note. You're gonna have to keep track. You know, I'm, I'm throwing a, a little bit of a, of, of a more modern approach, a Richard Wilson approach as opposed to Murray. He'd say, just play it in. He, I wonder how he would how he would have. I don't think I ever played this with him. It doesn't matter. This makes you consider time relative to the metronome, okay? Metronome on 72. Okay. That's how Murray might put the metronome real slow. One, two, three, four. Easier like that. Okay, but see it right, but we're doing so the metronome is one, two, three, four, five, 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 one, and two, and three, and four, one, and two, three, okay, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, click, 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 one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So really, we're playing. We're playing it uh, once again. One, two. If you're in five eight, each, each number is akin to what would have been a quarter note if you were playing it in five four. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. That'll be on the upbeat. It'll be downbeat. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And it'll open you up and make you a modern guy. Welcome to the 21st century, Rap. There you go. See, and you can do this with a band. The band can be playing in four. And you play this in five, maintaining the contour of the, your place in the tune. Singing the melody to yourself while you're doing that. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. Three. So that's kind of, ooh, it's a bit weird, okay, fine. Yeah, once you get, see, once you get the, the pulse, one, two, think about it, it's nothing. Ah! <laughs> the playing and counting is hard. One, Thank 
One, two, three, four, five. 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 Just for traditional guys. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, 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 Get your nice relaxed stroll. You have to think of all of it. Slam your throw. Make, make more of a circular motion. Go Not this. It's half a circle. And you set a vector. Dude, yeah, that's coming along. Okay, now the same thing is happening that was happening in the iteration or the the uh, the second variation. It's not even. I'm not sure if that's appropriate. But uh, what we have now is very similar to what we just played in three eight, right? Where the eighth note, where the sixteenth notes. No, 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 no. So what you just did in, in the 3-8 uh, version, uh, this, the, the second exercise, is you played all of the 16th notes from parallel. And that was your challenge, to get, to get them to open, to get them to open up. Get them to open up. It, it doesn't have to go that fast. And they're nice and even. But, uh, but, uh, see? So now, and then all of the dots were little wrist turns, weren't they? Remember? That's what we're doing here. We're just in 5-8 instead of 3-8. No, 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 it's not an appoggiatura. As soon as I ask you to play two 16th notes from parallel, you can't play it. But you can, you just proved you can. That's a ba da da ba some point, maybe it is so slow you do it on the wrist, but I think you can get it out here. No, 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 no. It is. Can you get it out here? Da, da, ba, let's see. Da, da, ba. Ba, 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 ba,
you're just muscling it out. <laughs> right? And so when you start to shove and force, I know if I speed it up, you'll completely be muscling it out. So that's why it's more important to play this slowly and, and concentrate on, oh yeah, Kevin said he wants me to play the Abaditoras, or in this case, the 16th notes from Carol. And the dot is a little wrist turn. Kevin wants me to play the upstroke starting from parallel. Okay? You got to remember that. Because we'll just have to spend more time. Because you, and you can do it. It's just a matter of, I know, two weeks goes by, a week goes by, certain things. You, you've got a life. I get it. Okay, now let's, let's hit the last exercise. Or uh, of the double drag, and it's in six eight. Okay. So, add a metronome. Go ahead and play it without a metronome. Stop, stop, stop. So, you probably, without even knowing, even myself uh, being entitled. I'm pretty sure, just following the logic that we've uh, been utilizing with regards, or the logic that would come with the obvious conclusion relative to what we've just been doing on the last three exercises under the title double drag. This one's probably going to be very similar, right? Because we've got dots. Now we've got a, we're back to a Pagetaurus. I know they're not tied, but they're apogitores, I believe. Yeah. So let's see how how will we count this? One, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. No, we can count this. We can we can count this, Raph. We can count this like we did the first six eight. Correct. Yeah. This up now we're, we're back to playing this as quarter notes. Just because it'd be easy if the easier if I wrote it as a, a dotted quarter in six eight, right? One, two, three, four. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I like doing that. Because you see, now if we're in if, if we're in, in duple, a duke bat, jiggle, jiggle bat, do da doot. Don't bat, boom, get, don't go bat. We can start to learn how to incorporate playing over the bar line. You know what we're playing with people, right? Okay, so this one is going to be this. Still at 72. Two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 Okay, this might be a little fast for you. Go ahead and play with Dr. Metronome. I can help you. It'll, it'll it'll go it'll go quicker if you just and it'll be more streamlined and I can help you make sense of this. Uh, first of all, counting out loud is a really big deal. You can't just go kind of mumble. <laughs> no, I know. I get it. It really has to be. It's the music. You're playing to a tune. It's you counting. And suddenly the band has stopped playing the tune and you're all alone on the drums. It, it doesn't work that way. The counting is as important as what you're playing. So it has to be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me hear you count. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Keep counting. So here. Uh, You've already one, two, three, 
Raph, you already did this with the single drag. Don't you remember? It's the last iteration of the single drag. Da, ra, da. One, da, ra, da. Da, ra, da. Now it's just rearranged. Now we're in six instead of two. Exactly. I'm going to give it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stop, 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 stop. You're just playing it wrong over and over. One, two, three. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, ah, 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 one, two, and three, four, and five, count the ends. Because that, 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 that appoggiatura is going to start on the end. One, and two, and three, one, and two, but ah, three. One and two, slow it down. One and two and three and four and five and six and. One and two and three. Just the first part. Play it again. Just the first half. One and two and three. You gotta say it loud. One, two. No. And two and three. One. And two. Gotta say and two. And two. Yeah, one and two and. One and two. No, and and two and. One and two and. Two. And three. That's all it is. One and two and. Three. And three and four and five and six. Three and four. And then four plus one and two and three and four. No. Before and five and six and three and four and no and four and five and six one and two and three and then the other way four. four let's take it from four four no four is a left a uh, 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 a left a uh, drag so let's start with the right appoggiatura correct yeah that's what I say. Four. Okay, so right, so a four, a four, a four, 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 a four, and five, and five, and six, four, and five, and six, that's it, and one, and two, and three, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Four and no, it'll be on the end. And six. Take it from the four. You got it. Stay with it. Four and five. Five. Four and five and six and one. And two and three. One and two and three. One and two and three and four and five and six. <laughs> stop, stop, don't play another note, okay? We, we have success. And you know, I'm gonna stop it there, but you know that uh, we're gonna be approaching it so that the appoggiatoras are all played from parallel the dots are all played with a little turn and then we have a throw just like all of the versions prior to this one in 6 eight. they're all going to have that in common i will write that out for you as a reminder good so i'm stretching you you're playing six over four a new stroke with a very particular technique Things have to be either played for a parallel or a little wrist turn or a particular throw. There's a lot, but that's what Murray was saying. Once you just get these fundamental things, a single stroke, classic single stroke, it's always played from parallel. It'll just always be that way, you know? A double from parallel can either be a pagiatura perhaps, or it could be two sixteenth notes. 
and you learn to control the rebound. It'll always be like that forever. It will always feel the same to, to kind of relax knowing that once you get these seven basic strokes into your body, there's not much more to it. Okay? There, there is more, right? There's a coordinate coordination involved. There's the concept of here we're playing five over four and learn five eight. Right? But that'll open you up so that you won't be bogged down always polarizing one. And I'll leave you with the Richard Wilsonism. Richard would say, drummers don't bang on one so the rest of the band knows where one is. They bang on one so they know where one is. <laughs> Good job.